We really need the voice of a national group who can tell their constituency what's important about the park, the, is the issues facing the park, and what needs to be done, and to help us get things done. Evidence that the Everglades Coalition is making a difference was apparent at the 50th anniversary of the designation of Everglades National Park. Plainly and simply, this is the largest restoration effort that has ever been undertaken anywhere on this entire planet. And the whole nation and the whole world are watching. And the secret of our success is that people are coming together the Everglades restoration is a result of extraordinary leadership from Interior Secretary Babbitt, coordinated citizen involvement, and a large infusion of funding from Congress. I have seen many political movements in this country and many political initiatives, and I haven't seen anything quite like this, where the people are really trying to cross over um, boundaries in terms of, and there's not as much turf protecting and really trying to work in unison to get things done. And all partners agree that restoring the Everglades means acquiring additional lands, restoring the natural water flow, and improving water quality. We need a group of people banded together who are constantly, constantly reminding us of the job ahead of us and are relentless uh, about uh, pressuring us to move forward on it, because this is hard work. It is hard, hard, difficult, controversial work. And um, we need folks uh, leading us and driving us so that we never, never back off.